guys. So, made it to Taipei, Taiwan. I had about 15 hours here with my brother because of our two day journey in Narita and getting stuck. Um, but I'm gonna be here for the next five days. So I'm about to send up the drone. I just was doing some Googling and some researching and Don Park sounds like it's the go-to spot for droning. Um, there's a lot of airports here that are sizable enough to where it's a little bit sketchy and obviously the five mile rule, but this falls just outside the map. Um, I found a really informative map online of where you can and cannot drone. I've never seen it for any other country ever, but I'll post it in this video um, just kind of as a guide for you guys. You know, if you're coming to Taipei, highly recommend throwing the drone up. I still have not, but we skated all around the city earlier and it looks like an awesome spot. So, let's see what we got. Research I've done, I just wanted to point out the first sign walking into the park. Everything that's prohibited. Normally, this is where you'll almost always see a sign for no drones, but there's nothing for it. The one catch is you're not allowed to go above 60 meters, but that's fine. City footage, um, unless you're kind of in the middle of a bunch of skyscrapers, I don't really find it necessary. So, I think this should be just fine. right there also a lot of trees that would probably block GPS let's just see where this takes us all right so still scoping for a spot and it's not that this isn't legal because it is and I've done my due diligence and research in doing so to find out however it's just not a good look when you're a tourist and it's obviously you're a tourist and that you're trying to fly a drone in other people's kind of quiet place. Um, so I'm just trying to find a spot where I can go incognito. I still haven't found it yet. I'm not sure if other photographers can relate, but I definitely get kind of spooked out when I'm solo traveling and trying to fly a drone in the city. Even if it's legal, for some reason it just doesn't feel right and like, for all anyone else could know, I could just be a hobbyist that just bought the first drone and tried it out, but knowing that I'm not, it's just sketchy. But I just found this spot that has water fountain, it's still in the park. I think that's gonna be this launch spot. Water's good because it's loud, so it kind of masks the sound of a drone. Once it's up, I'm not worried, but. So my drone actually knows that the limit is 60 meters, so the research was right. Um, I actually went in and I changed my height uh, limit to 60 meters, just, God forbid, I get anyone coming up to me um, so they can see that I'm falling by the rules. Guys, so to conclude, this was a phenomenal drone location. Um, I think you can kind of tell it's not quite sunset, but it's just before. And in my opinion, this is the best time of the day to be droning when the sun is still out and strong. Um, but you have a nice glow kind of all over and the shadows are really interesting. Um, so this park, I would say, is the equivalent to a miniature Central Park in New York because it's in the middle of the city. Um, Taipei is massive between uh, Taipei and New, New Taipei City. Um, but this is just a massive park in the middle of the city. Um, and you can go kind of around the perimeter of the park and get all the skyscrapers, but then you can get shots with um, the park in the foreground and it just brings a lot of cool shot opportunities. Um, it didn't feel weird at all once the drone was up. A lot of people walked by, looked at what I was doing, didn't mind at all. Um, the people that saw the drone didn't care either. So I think this is your best bet at getting some city drone footage if you're coming to Taipei.